Interface Computer College, Manila. Social and Professional Issues. Professor Mary Grace Sambaho. Group 2, Empowering Computers in the Workplace. Empowering Computer in Workplace. You would be better off consolidating and simplifying your technology. Implement one system that serves as one-stop shop for multiple functions. To identify the right system, take a bottom-up approach. Serve your employees to determine which tools they enjoy using the most. Ask them what they like about each tools, then select a system that resembles the tools they enjoy using. This strategy will ensure them buy into your vision and, ac and actually use the new technology. Use artificial intelligence to automate. Don't bore your employees with time-consuming tasks. Thanks to AI, you can now ask Robot to crunch number, create reports, and schedule meetings. This free up every member of your team to listen actively and contribute during discussion, boosting employee engagement and the overall sense of belonging. Computer and Employment People predicted the latest technology will result to a declining employment rate in the manufacturing and commerce industry. According to Foster and Marison, this impact was not great as predicted due to three main reasons. First main reason, the introduction of computer into the workplace was slower than expected due to financial and technical human and organizational problems. Second, the alarming rate of unemployment that exists at the time was not seen to increase dramatically. Third, in the US and Europe, the baby boom generation entry into the workforce was large, largely complete by the end of the 80s and arrival of the baby birth generation in 1990s. So some shortage of labor development. Result of the computerization of factories and offices. Employment opportunities for less skilled manual clerical workers. Job losses in traditional manufacturing industry. E emerge of IT industry. Incorporate hardware software development with design, technical, and administrative support and computer service. Employment field where computers have replaced people, bank tellers, telephone switchboard operators, electric meter reader, customer service employees, railway dispatch operation employees, floor carrier or messengers, travel agency personnel, other manual labor factor, factory workers, employment job field where computers have created new jobs, internet late jobs, Circular communication industry, chip maker, computer scientists, and engineers, information technology, system analysis, and computer programmers, support staff, e.g., e receptionist, janitor, and clerk, design, mar design, marketing, manufacturing, sales, customers, service, repair, and maintenance. Difference based on the effects of computers and the quality of work on our place. Computer technology reduces jobs for skilled workers and increases employment for less skilled machine minders. Manual labor lessens while that less skilled but more familiar workers in the machine retain their jobs. Give the company a need to compete in the marketplace and move with the times. Constant upgrades and trainings are needed to keep up with the fast paced computing industry. Computers provide an opportunity to increase worker skills. Psychological effect 
automating a mess only creates automated mess. Constant record training may not sit well and may cause stress, loss of debt satisfaction, low moral, and poor management labor relations. On psychological effects, stress, depersonalization, fatigue, and boredom. Automated workplace can increase the temptation to commit misdeeds, diminish human initiative, and cause the abdication of decision making. Health and safety hazards. Harmful radiation issues, scourges, eye strain, neck and shoulder problems, and arm, hand, and finger injury. Computer surveillance in the workplace is the use of computers to monitor activity in a workplace. Computer monitoring is a method of collecting performance data which employers obtain through digitalized employee monitoring. Technological advances have made computers an important part of every workplace. Many companies store valuable data on computer systems, databases, and networks, and most workplace communication is done using computers and networks. The effects of monitoring workplace computers can secure data stored on computer systems as well as ensure employees are using workplace computers for business purposes. Some monitoring software comes highly recommended at reasonable cost and can be customized to an organization needs. This requires some additional efforts by management of information technology staff but proves its available tool to ensure the security of business data and integrity although computer workplace monitoring has become a necessity. Employees often don't understand the reasons of computer monitoring and may feel violated or micromanaged. Computerized monitoring in a workplace have benefits because most data is stored on computers and almost all communication is done on an organization's computer network. The security of the data is crucial for the success of an organization. Monitoring workplace computers can be done using a variety of software products that monitor computer networks. This software can also be used to monitor per track employee activity and productivity as well. This ensures data is secure by using the software to block certain websites, alert information technology staff of potential threats such as computer viruses as well as monitor computer and internet usage by employees. Telecommuting Telecommuting is also called teleworking. The use of telecommunications and internet technologies to work outside the traditional office or workplace, usually at home or in a mobile situation. Telecommuting also dubbed working from anywhere that enable people in organizations to work across large distances and across different time zones. Virtual organizations whose members work almost entirely through telecommunications, educational face-to-face -face meetings. The factors affecting the future of telecommuting. Availability of bandwidth and infrastructure in given country. Social methodologies for balancing work and work freedom. Perceived values and economies in telecommuting. Opportunities and need for working collaboratively across large distances, including globally. Here are the benefits of telecommuting. Reduction of office space required for employees. Increased productivity. Reduction in absenteeism. Improved morale. Improved recruitment. Benefits to the environment. Lower cost for the workers. For health benefit, it reduces spread of communicable disease, reduction in stress-related illness, reduce production of pollutants that lead to increased health problems, and improve access to individual health needs. The drawbacks of telecommuting, less camaraderie and social interactions with colleagues. Intrusion of the workplace home setting, thus a difficulty in defining concrete working hours. Threat of management control of worker autonomy. Lack of face-to-face -face interaction with customers at the workplace. Security issues. 
difficulty of scheduling team meetings, lack of visibility with management, lack of support for the office worker from the remote worker, telling worker feeling a need to be always available to prove that they are working, isolation socially, no stimulation of ideas, peer support or technical support, tendency to work longer hours, 